Hello YouTube. Today we're going to learn about bioplastics, how to make some, and what they're all about. For this experiment, you're going to need 9.5 grams of cornstarch, 60 milliliters of water, 5 milliliters of glycerin, and 5 milliliters of 5% acetic acid in water, or vinegar or a silicone baking sheet. Start by charging in your 60 milliliters of distilled water, then charge in your cornstarch. Start stirring and agitating till you get a even homogeneous suspension. Charge in your glycerin, it's pretty thick so make sure it all gets in there, and mix thoroughly. Then finally you can add in your vinegar and again mix it all up. Now turn on your heat and start stirring like crazy. Now what's the chemistry that's actually happening inside that beaker? Well, starches are polysaccharides or large branched polymer chains consisting of sugar molecules. As you heat the mixture, the acetic acid hydrolyzes or breaks the bonds between the branches and this leaves you with long linear chains of polysaccharides or sugars. Um, ordinarily these linear chains are fairly stiff but because we added glycerin this acts as a plasticizer enabling the plastic to be somewhat flexible and not brittle. Now after you heat for a while you end up with a thick viscous goo and if you heat for a little longer it turns a little bit clear like that. Take the mixture and pour it out onto your sheet tin foil or silicone baking sheet wax paper if you don't have either of those and just spread it out. If you're making this for fun you don't need to be too careful about thickness control. As you can see here after it's cooled down a little bit it's a thick opaque layer of almost like a gelatin on the foil and uh, even as hard as you try the thickness isn't very even. You get lots of little bumps but after a week of drying you end up with a plastic film like this. This plastic film is very thin, thickness is fairly even despite the unevenness in the uh, molding process, but it's quite strong and stretch resistant, tear resistant. Most of the tears you can see here from actually trying to remove it from the aluminum foil, hence why I recommend a silicone baking sheet, but it's tear resistant and really can't break it too easily.